Yep, good. I'm pleased for you. It's <laughs> nice, isn't it? I uh, spent some time in North Carolina um, a few years back. Uh, three months. I was set to move there uh, to a place called Durham, <laughs> which is not like. Durham is a slow word for slow people, I believe. It's like rural. I can't say it fast, but we must move on. <laughs> uh, I was moving there with my girlfriend at the time. She was an academic. She possibly still is. We don't talk anymore. Harsh. It's comedy. <laughs> and uh, we didn't want to accidentally move to somewhere in Durham that was homophobic. You know, like a little bit stabby and punchy. Sometimes that happens. And I'm from Tasmania. I've seen it. <laughs> Rural Tasmania to boot. <laughs> and so we, we went on uh, to Craigslist, which is pretty much a gum tree with guns. It's exciting. <laughs> and we found a place advertised, uh, a little cottage behind a main house. Uh, and it was advertised by a couple that described themselves as a gay-loving gay couple. And we thought, well, that's safe. Because I'm sure there's some gay couples that fucking hate other gay couples out there. <laughs> so we signed up and it sounded lovely, but it wasn't. <laughs> they were fruit and nut bars, that gay-loving gay couple. <laughs> fruit and nut bars. My alarm bell started ringing as soon as we arrived. Uh, they just flew out of the door to meet us at the driveway. They were both very large men, but one was larger than the other, and he spoke. That was the rules. <laughs> and he said, it's very nice to meet you. My name's Peter, and this here's Reed. But y'all can call me Papa Bear. This here's Pup. <laughs> Do you know, I was just mostly disappointed they didn't ask me what my animal name was, because I had one ready. What's your animal name? And I was going to go thylacine, you know. This, <laughs> yeah. And this here is beaver. But they didn't ask. <laughs> now, it turns out, right, that behind the, the main house was the cottage we were renting, and behind that was a barn. It was an enormous barn. It was larger than really you need on a suburban plot with no animals. Like, it was a large barn, and I'm like, that's... Weird, but it got weirder because it turns out that Papa Bear and Pup spearheaded the North Carolinian division of 9-11 was an inside job. Ooh. <laughs> they believe the towers were still there. <laughs> it's just a sophisticated hologram, guys. <laughs> and that was all, uh, you know, put into place by the lizard people. I stopped listening then. The alarm bells were quite loud and I'm knocking. I'm like, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> there was going to be a, an apocalypse in 2012. They're a bit behind schedule. Fucking lizards. <laughs> Slack. <laughs> and that's what the barn was for. The apocalypse. They showed me inside. Uh, it was lovely. There's a lot of tin food under the trap door, but that's good, isn't it? And then there's some lovely wooden furniture and some nice throw rugs there to keep the stereotypes alive. But on the other side, <laughs> the largest gun cabinet I've ever seen. And I've never seen a gun cabinet. And it was bigger than that. It was huge. <laughs> and it was full of very large, angry guns, right? <laughs> this is where they were going to hold up for the lizard apocalypse in 2012. Is it really in this... This is, you're gonna fight off, a, fight off an apocalypse in this barn, guys. <laughs> in this here wooden structure. <laughs> you're gonna fight off an apocalypse, are you fellas? You haven't even read The Three Little Pigs, have you? <laughs> Sorry to get past the second chapter, you dickheads. <laughs> and then I left, uh, pretty much like this. Thank you, good night. Hannah Gadsby.